So, I've got this uh, old equity digital clock, uh, probably from sometime in the early 2000s, I'm guessing. Uh, what is this? It's a Model 1010. I had a Model 1016 down here, which was the same thing, but it looked like it was, but it was made of wood. Not, not real wood, but plastic with a wood look. And they're two very similar clocks, but this one has a problem. That is, the, the time button, you know, if you can press it down, it won't do anything. Especially when pressing the minute button. Notice all these buttons, including the snooze button, are click, clicky. So the time button just sinks in. And today we're going to be disassembling this clock to find what our problem is and hopefully, but not, uh, hopefully, but not, uh, definitely fix the problem. So when I look at a device like this particular alarm clock, I look for ways to take it apart. And the most comp and the most, uh, and the thing that I see the most on here is a screw hole. A screwdriver doesn't quite fit in it, so I'm gonna need to get a different one. So here we go. I've got the right screwdriver. This is the first time I'm looking inside of this clock. I've never seen the inside of this one before. And there's our screw. And now something's happening in here. There might be a few clips holding this thing together. So I removed the battery cover, exposed a few clips on this thing, and I'm finally getting inside. There's just one more clip, and it happens to be the one near the battery compartment for some reason. The only one that I didn't do. And I can tell you, there we go. That didn't take much effort at all, actually. Uh, try to get the battery thing out, but first of all, this is what's inside of our clock. It is a very simple device, it seems. Uh, just a few circuit boards uh, slapped together. I mean, you really can't uh, get much cheaper than what I can see in here. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, everything that's in here except for this uh, the buzzer. Okay, so I couldn't find really anything causing the problem. I might have just pressed a little bit too hard and had part of the circuit board sink down. I'm really not sure what happened, but it looks like, to me, oh, I see the problem. Uh, it's really nothing too bad. It's just a little bit of a broken tab that I think I can actually fix. I did the cheapest, easiest fix I could find to this. I'm not sure if this is going to work yet, but we'll see. See, th th these plastic uh, little, little things on all the uh, button panels, uh, what these did was they hit these buttons on the board right there. And this one had broken off from someone pressing it too hard, probably from someone pounding it while uh, they were... Uh, you know, tired and just going like that with the buttons, trying to find the snooze button. Something probably broke, so I just stuck a bunch of old hot glue in there, and that's the cheapest, easiest fix I could find, and if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to find something else, but this is pretty easy to fix, because that button sort of acts as a dish. You can hold things, and if I can find it, and if I can find the right thing, Chances are I'll get that button to work again. It's really not the best idea, but it'll work. And what would you know? Look at this. The button's actually clicking. Because I put hot glue under it. Now is that weird? But time is still not setting. So I think we might have some dirty contacts on our buttons. I might have to... Uh, look into this a little bit further. I think there's just tape over those tactile dome switches holding the actual dome on the uh, contacts, and those contacts might be dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean those contacts. So here are the tactile dome switches I'm talking about. Notice 
can clean under them and you can make the time set work. And that's what I did to get to to get it to uh, actually work. And I actually got this thing to work by just putting my finger under there. I think it was a slight layer of dust, and that's sometimes actually all it takes to make the switch not work. So as you'll see, this thing is a little bit intermittent uh, in the time button, but not the alarm button. See, I just hold it down and press the minute button. Works a little bit intermittently. And same goes with the hour button. I, I might have to clean that one a little bit more, but... So, oh, it says 2.11 now. So, you see, they're working a little bit intermittently, but you can at least set the clock, because they're at least as clean as they have to be. I think I think it works perfectly fine on the alarm button for some reason. So, as you can see, uh, this thing works perfectly fine. And I will demonstrate the snooze button a little bit later. And what would you know? I have a fully working clock, and it's it's working perfectly fine now. It's really quite something that I was just able to untape all those little dome things on the circuit board and move my finger around under them and make it work. So, and it's actually proven to do this because, you know, the tactile dome switch and they get dirty and yeah so you know and the snooze button also works so uh should probably turn that off so uh that is a clock working thanks for watching and see you in my next video